Hi friends, welcome to Children's Chapel. Today is the last Sunday after the Epiphany. And so next week, that means we're going to start a new season of the church called Lent. And we are going to learn more about Lent next week. All right, we are going to get started just like we always do. We're going to light our candle. If you have a candle at home with an adult's help, you can light your candle with me. And we're going to say, why do we light the candle? To remind us that God is with us. Next, we are going to pray together. So in order to get our hearts and our minds and our bodies ready to talk to God, we're gonna use the singing bowl. We're gonna put our hands in the air. I'm gonna ring the bowl. We're gonna to listen to the sound with our ears. And when you can't hear the sound anymore, I want you to put your hand down. And then we will pray the Lord's Prayer together. So, hands up. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Next, we are going to sing a song with Jimmy. Every move I make, I'm making you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Waves of mercy, waves of grace, everywhere I look, I see your face. Your love has captured me, oh my God, this love, how can it be? I take, I breathe in you. Woo Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Woo Waves of mercy, waves of grace. Everywhere I look, I see your face. Your love has captured me. God, this love, how can it be? La 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 Great singing, everybody. Okay, next we are going to do our ritual of water. And so if you are following along at home, you'll need a bowl, a small cup of water, and maybe something to dry your hands off with. We're gonna pour the water into the bowl to remind us of our baptism. We are baptized with water. And at our baptism, we are reminded that we belong to God. We are reminded that we are part of God's family and God's community. And we are reminded that God loves us. So I invite anyone who's watching the video to touch the water and say, God loves me. And then I would like you to look at someone else who is with you and remind them that God loves you. It's important to remind ourselves of God's love. It's important to remind other people of God's love and it's important to practice. Next, we are going to listen to our story. Now, if you remember at the beginning of 
um, Children's Chapel, I mentioned that today is the last Sunday in the season after Epiphany. We are starting a new season next week, and we always hear the same story on the last Sunday in the season after Epiphany. It's the story of the Transfiguration. And if you remember, um, during the season after Epiphany, we hear stories about how Jesus is revealed as God's son. So I want you to listen very carefully to the story of the Transfiguration and think about how Jesus might be shown or revealed as God's son in this story. The Transfiguration. The Bible is made up of 66 different books. Four of these books tell the story of Jesus's life. They are called the Gospels. This story is found in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Peter, James, and John follow Jesus up a tall mountain. They are going to a quiet place to pray. At the top of the mountain, they begin to pray. All of the sudden, Jesus changes. He is transfigured. His face shines bright like the sun. His clothes are dazzling white. Suddenly, standing next to Jesus are the prophets of old, Moses and Elijah. The two men talk with him. Peter says, Lord, I'm glad we are with you. If you want me to, I will make three tents. I will build one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. As Peter speaks, a bright cloud appears overhead. From the cloud, a voice says, This is my son, the beloved. With him, I am well pleased. Listen to him. Who do you think this voice belongs to? When Peter, James, and John hear this, they fall to the ground. They are afraid. But Jesus reaches out to them and says, Get up and do not be afraid. When the disciples stand up, they see that they are alone with Jesus. As they climb down the mountain, Jesus says, Do not tell anyone about what you have seen. The end. All right, so what did you hear in our story today that reveals that Jesus is God's son or that shows us that Jesus is God's son. What I hear in this story is Jesus um, becoming bright and brilliant and dazzling and um, shining on the mountaintop after he goes up there to pray with his friends. And the two prophets Elijah and Moses come and join him on the mountaintop. And the disciples are not quite sure what to do. They want to build tents and build altars and things to celebrate the fact that Jesus is being revealed to them as God's son in that moment. Now, if you remember at the beginning of the Epiphany season, we read um, the story of Jesus's baptism. And in that story, God speaks after Jesus it comes up out of the water and he says the exact, almost the exact same words as we hear in this story, that this is my son, the beloved, with whom I am well pleased. And so we hear that again in this story, God speaking and saying and telling those who are around that Jesus is God's son and that he is beloved and that he, that um, Jesus is well loved and God is pleased with Jesus. Now, I wonder why we might start the season with the baptism story, with that sort of proclamation, with that announcement of Jesus being God's son, and then end with sort of a similar um, story of God saying to everyone, this is my son. So what I find important about that is we are about to enter the season of Lent, and it's an important season in the church. We're getting ready. We're preparing our hearts and our minds and our bodies for Easter. We are taking this time to grow closer to God, and all during that time, we are meant to remember that Jesus is God's Son. And so here we are during the season of Epiphany being reminded of those moments when Jesus was revealed to others and shown to be God's son. And so again, we are hearing God say out loud, Jesus is my son and I am pleased with him. 
And so I wonder what that means as we move forward, as we find ways to grow closer to God. We keep that in mind, that Jesus is God's son. It's an important one as we journey toward Easter and all of the events that happen then. I invite you at this time to start thinking about how you might grow closer to God and Jesus during the 40 days of Lent. What are the things that you can do to grow closer to God? Oftentimes people give up things, um, something that's important to them that may, or things that may draw them away from God. They give those up for a little while and use that time that's usually spent doing those things to grow closer to God. Or you may choose to take on something new, something that will help you build a relationship with God, will help you feel closer to God. So I invite you to start thinking about what you might do. You might do that as an individual. You might do that um, as a family. Uh, you can really observe Lent and um, practice growing closer to God during this particular time um, in whatever way feels right to you. So I hope you find something that will draw you closer to God during this time of Lent. All right, that is all the time that we have for Children's Chapel today. We are going to blow out the candle and say goodbye. But remember, when we blow out the candle, that doesn't mean that God is no longer with us. It just means that our reminder is no longer there because God is always with us. Bye, friends. We'll see you next week.